What's going on YouTube? Budget Gaming here. Today I'm going to be going through the Planet of the Discounts sale on the PlayStation Store. So this is a ongoing sale and we're going to see what games are on sale, if anything's worth it, if anything stands out. And um, yeah, starting with Demon Souls. Demon Souls is a game that I own the physical copy of and uh, yeah, I think that's a pretty good game. But it's already included with PlayStation Plus, so I will be skipping on that. We have Ratchet and Clank. That's still a little too pricey for me. And moving on, we have Cuphead. $14 for Cuphead. That seems like a, a decent price, I would say. Cuphead is one of those games that I've thought about playing, but it does seem like a pretty difficult game. And a uh, very time-consuming game. Moving on, we have some Call of Duty games on sale. Um, Battlefield 2042 is on sale as well. I would steer clear uh, from that. Battlefield uh, 2042 kind of seemed a DOA and um, not really worth it. You have Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, $18. I feel like you could find a physical copy of that game uh, for cheaper, so I would not recommend getting that. Wave the Hunter, I've actually heard uh, some pretty good things about that game. Uh, I definitely would like to check it out, but um, $40, $44, dollars is a little too too pricey for my taste. Uh, Friday the 13th, that's a game that maybe I might be streaming later this month. I don't know. We'll see about that. We have the DLC levels for Fallout 4. For uh, a couple dollars each, um, Far Harbor is six dollars. So between about one, uh, let's see, one to thirteen dollars, depending on what you want to get. Let's see, we have the High Isle expansion for Elder Scrolls Online. That's something that I might consider getting. But I would not spend $25 on it. I feel like that's a little too pricey. Returnal, that seems like a pretty good deal. Um, but, uh, you know, that's included with PlayStation Plus. So I will be not paying for that. The Crew 2 is another one that is included in PlayStation Plus. So that's pretty cool. Um, Predator Hunting Ground. Uh, I did have a little bit of fun with that, playing with Linda. But... Mm, the game kind of left me unimpressed. I wouldn't spend uh, more than a couple bucks on that game, to be honest. We have Call of Duty Ghosts. Uh, Call of Duty Ghosts, I feel like that... It's a little little expensive for a, a game that old. Same with uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Um, but, you know, physical copies of those games are like actually kind of expensive if you go to GameStop. So... Keep that in mind if you do want to play that. $5 for Mortal Kombat XL. I feel like that's actually a pretty good deal. I might consider getting that. We have... Ooh, we actually have a free level for Hitman. Uh, Hitman 2, so um, yeah, I might might pick that up. Well, I, I, actually, I definitely will pick that up later on since it's free. Um... L.A. Noir for twenty dollars. That's that's actually about what I would spend on the game uh, if I was wanting to play it. Like you know, day one. Uh, that's I think a good price point since it's kind of just a remaster. Um, a game that I've been really wanting to play: Insurgency Sandstorm. That's forty dollars for the gold edition. I don't know if it's that good to be to be or I would spend forty dollars on that. Moving on, Judgment for $20. I feel like that's that's actually a fair price point. We have some more games included with PlayStation Plus. Alan Wake for $17. Um, yeah, that's, that's about a, a fair price for that, I'd say. We have some add-ons um, for, for the uh, Fallout Shelter game. Uh, that was a, a game that... I'm really glad I got the Platinum on. Uh, that took me a very long time to get the Platinum on that. Um, let's see. Chernobylite. Uh, that looks like a very interesting game. I might consider looking more into that later on. 
Streets of Rage 4, uh, $13. I feel like that's a little expensive for a digital copy of that. Um, moving on, we have, um, okay, the game bundle for Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, Ten dollars for that. I think I think that's actually an incredible price for that game. If uh, you don't like to have physical copies, I would definitely recommend picking that up. Uh, about twelve dollars for the Rick and Morty Virtual Brickality. That's that's a fair price, I would say. Let's see anything else that really pops out. Uh, Neo is on sale. Let's see, Devil May Cry 5 is on sale. Tales of Arise, $44. It's a little expensive uh, for my taste. Uh, one, one Piece World Seeker is $9. That's actually right around the price that I paid for a physical copy of that game, uh, from, uh, if memory serves correctly. So I would say that's that's a pretty fair price. Cobra Kai for $10. Uh, I feel like that's a little expensive for that title. Uh, Sinking City. That's actually a game that I would consider playing this month. Uh, just for Halloween and stuff like that. Uh, but it seems a little expensive at $22. Uh, moving on. You have some games that I already purchased. So I'm not exactly sure on, on the price points on those. Uh, Kerbal Space Program. That seems like a fun game. Uh, I've heard lots of good things about it. It's an older game. Uh, I know it's like a, I think an older computer game. Uh, so maybe ten dollars is is a fair price point for that. Greedfall. That seems like a pretty interesting game that I would love to have the time to play at some point. Uh, Hat and Time for fifteen dollars seems like a fair price for that. Quake for four dollars. That's seems pretty fair as well. Tales from the Borderlands for fifteen. I feel like you could find a physical copy of that uh, for a little, uh, a little less. Captain Tsubasa. That's one that you probably could find a physical copy for cheap. Terminator. Terminator Resistance, this is the DLC level. Um, that was actually a really fun game. I would recommend uh, trying that out at some point. Secret of Mana for $20. That's that's pretty fair, I'd say. Kill It With Fire, another game that I might consider playing this month. Looks like we got some DLC pack uh, packs in here. I don't actually remember purchasing Hood, uh, Outlaws and Legends, but, um, yeah. Arizona Sunshine is a game that I've wanted to play for a while. Um, I just it really haven't just bothered setting up my PSVR, though. Um, moving on, we got Batman, uh, the Arkham Asylum, uh, Premium Edition. Um, actually, what is this? Arkham, Arkham Knight, sorry about that. Arkham Knight uh, Premium Edition. Uh, that seems like a fair price. Another uh, Werewolf is included with PlayStation, so um, yeah, the PlayStation Plus covers me on that. Hellborn. That's a uh, helicopter um, helicopter game that actually looks pretty cool. Made of Skur for. Thirteen dollars, basically. Um, yeah, that's a game that I have the physical copy of. I think the physical copy is a little, little expensive though, uh, so I might try to keep that sealed. Uh, I don't know if I would pay thirteen dollars though. I might wait a little longer, see if it drops down in price, or if it ends up on the PlayStation Plus. Um, let's see. Moving on. Hitman 2, Surge 2, Yeast Origins for $7, that's a pretty good price I would say. 
Zombie Land Double Tap, six dollars. That's actually right around where I would say that that game should be valued at. Um, it's it's entertaining, but um, I have I had some glitches in there when I played it last, and uh, it's not that in depth of a game. Story of Seasons, fifteen dollars. Uh, marked down seventy percent. That seems pretty good. Chicken Police. I don't know if I would spend thirteen dollars on that. Let me know if you guys uh, have played that. Don't knock twice for five dollars. That seems like a pretty good deal. Uh, definitely the kind of game you might want to play in October. Jurassic World Evolution Deluxe Edition for eleven dollars. Um, I would say that's a fair price, although they do have the sequel out, so that's something to keep in mind. Black Sad for eight dollars. Uh, I think you probably could find a physical copy for around that price as well. It's been a while since I've actually seen one though. Silver Chains for less than four dollars. I would say that's a pretty good deal, especially. In October, wow, what an amazing deal right here. This is the uh, EA Family Bundle. Um, so this looks like it has three games. It has uh, Need for Speed, Plants vs. Zombies, Garden Warfare 2, and Unravel. Uh, definitely would recommend that for $4. That's an incredible deal. That's 90% off. We have the Outbreak uh, game collection for $27. Mordheim City of the Damned. Uh, I really know nothing about this game. Uh, looks kind of interesting, though. I would have to look into it more before I would decide if... That price point is good, but I mean, it's six dollars. I mean, if if you got six dollars to spare, let me know how that game is. I saw Black Clouds, that seems like an interesting game. Uh, there is another game similar, in, like to, with a similar title about black clouds or black skies. Um, that I want to play. It's actually a world, world, uh, War of the Worlds game. Let's see anything else interesting? Duke Nukem, uh, twentieth anniversary. Uh, yeah, Duke Nukem three D World Tour. Definitely uh, for two dollars. I don't think you can go too too wrong with that. We have some uh, expansion packs for Train Sim. Uh, if you're in Japan, I guess those are very popular in Japan. But um, there we go. That's that's the uh, the sale right now. I would say there's a few good games in there. Definitely check it out for yourself. Uh, just scroll through here. Um, but yeah, that's that's the uh, sale. Let me know what you guys think. Take care, and as always, keep on gaming. Bye-bye.